Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial using all e.l.f. products. So I was like, I need to hop on camera and talk about a bunch of new products that I saw when I went to Target and also some staples that I've been obsessed with as of lately. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with just moisturizing our face. I'm gonna be using this oil control liquid lotion with tea tree oil, which is absolutely amazing for rosacea skin. So I'm excited. It's supposed to be a featherweight light lotion that absorbs quickly and provides a long lasting matte finish ideal for oily to combination skin hmm, the scent is actually really nice i was kind of worried because i'm not the biggest fan of tea tree oil I smell like kind of just like ugh. but this one smells really good and it's also very lightweight so it doesn't feel super thick okay so now that we have that on our face we're going to let that sink into our skin and while we do that we're going to go ahead and begin our eyes just because the eyes take the longest um, so I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer, which I've talked about before. And I'm just going to be using this brush to apply all over. It's a very lightweight eye primer. It's not very heavy. So for people that like a more natural eye primer, you're going to really love this. If you like a more full coverage, kind of like the P. Louis consistency or even like a concealer consistency, then you may not like this because it is a very just natural Finish, but I really do like this to clean up my eyebrows. I've mentioned that before. Um, so we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna pick up these little eyeshadow palettes. So I got these at Target. I think you can find these anywhere pretty much. Um, and basically what they are is $3 eyeshadow quads and they are apparently really good quality. I picked up this one because I feel like it just goes with everything. Um, this one is in cream and sugar. I have all the elf stuff right in front of me. If you guys watched my beauty room tour, you guys saw like how much stuff I purchased. It was a lot. So I'm trying to like kind of get everything, you know, out of the way so that I can work on the eye. But let's go ahead and zoom you guys in. And I'm just going to be first starting off with this shade right here. Just like a very good cream shade. I wish the shade was a little bit darker because I feel like there's no in-between transition color. So it kind of goes from like very light to like very dark, but we'll make it work. And then I'm going to be taking the darkest brown and start to build it up. I just want to use the shadows in here. So I have to find a way to really build everything up properly. But I have to say, like first impressions, this is like blending really well. Wow, that blended out so beautifully. As you guys can see, very impressed. Makes me wanna get more. I wish I would've purchased all of them because that's really good. And usually a color like this is very hard to blend out this well. So I am very impressed because I was like, how am I going to make just a very dark brown blend so well onto my crease? But this did well. So now we're going to go ahead and take another brush, my flat brush, and we're going to be using this shade right here, which looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm just, oh my gosh, that pigmentation is amazing. Guys, these are $3. Okay, I may be ordering some more online soon because this is definitely it. Wow, Elf, I'm so impressed. These are amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, cause I do wanna jump into these that I also got. I got two of them, but I feel like the color that will mostly go with this look is this one. Um, so I'm gonna leave this for another look, but it's a beautiful gold. And I'm gonna be taking this liquid glitter eyeshadow in Flirty Birdie. Ooh, they're actually way smaller than I thought they would be. They're really small, but it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna be putting this to the test and we are gonna be putting it over that first color just because I do wanna kind of see how this works or else I would have just left that color that we first went in with on the lid, but I wanna put these to the test together and kind of like add a little bit of a shimmer okay i like how they're not sticky like you know with some they're like super sticky and they just feel weird this doesn't feel weird and the color is really pretty it's like a very wearable color for people that like may not want like super intense vibes so now we're gonna go back in with the brown while that dries and we're gonna kind of build up this outer corner and we're gonna just leave it like that until 
we can go back and kind of extend it. Do you guys see? Like, I just feel like it's so glam right now. Okay, so we're gonna leave that. And while we leave that, we're gonna go ahead and do our brow. So this is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in, what shade is this? Neutral Brown. I'm hoping this is good. Ooh, and this comes with a spoolie, which is always nice. So let's just lock that down. You guys know I always like to outline the bottom part of the brow and then I go in and start. And I think this color is good because it's a natural warm brown. So I feel like it'll blend in perfectly with my brow hair. So that is the brow. I don't want to like intensify it further just because I feel like if I keep going and going, it's going to make it look super like thick. Um, but now I'm going to take the Wow Brow, which is kind of like a brow um, gel and just kind of go over like in those little sparse areas and try to add a little bit of some color. And this one is in deep brown. I don't know why, but it's kind of giving me like some patchiness. Not really liking the brows too much right now, but we'll figure it out. And then I'm gonna take this brush and kind of extend the shimmers out a little bit, just because I wanna make sure that it blends in with the brown and it's not like a harsh division between the two of them. And then once we do that, I can go in with our H2O Proof Jet Black Liner, which I don't think I've ever used a liner from, um, elf so i just i'm excited to get into this i'm not really feeling my brows i feel like they look like they're sparse and it may be because of the um because of the brow pencil color but i don't know it's, it's kind of messing with me so i'm gonna take the marker it says to shake so let me shake it i think today i want to do a wing maybe we'll see Now we're gonna be taking our lashes. So we're gonna be taking the e.l.f. Lux Lash Kit in Winged and Bold. I'm really excited. I've never tried e.l.f. lashes in my life. So this is like a first for me. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the Length and Volume Mascara to apply some mascara on these lashes. Ooh, I kinda like the wand is so small. I feel like it allows you to like really get in there. I feel like when the wand is like the typical ones that we are used to, like we have to like be careful with where we're dragging it. Ooh, these are really natural. Like for all my natural people, these are your lashes. <laughs> you can't even see that I have lashes on. But I have to say they feel good quality because I remember one time I was looking at the e.l.f. lashes and I was like, okay, these just look super cheap and like not good. But these actually feel really nice. It's just that they're so natural and they were like the most dramatic ones in the section so I mean we're just gonna kind of go with it we have to go with it but it's not bad but I think for somebody that wants drama this isn't gonna really cut it okay so now we're gonna go back in with the elf eye putty primer I want to quickly go in and just clean up this brow just so that it can be ready I have to like now maintain my own brows because I don't know how long we're going to be on this lockdown. So I'm just going to be plucking my brows as they grow so that they don't get too crazy. This is one I've done. I have to say I'm very impressed. I feel like the glitter worked really well considering that it's a very affordable glitter. It's not like a high end glitter. It's very comparable to like the formula of the steel ones. If anything, I personally feel like it's better. As for these, I need all the other ones because this is really, really good. So I'm definitely gonna be checking out the rest of them and they're only three bucks. I mean, you're getting really good quality eyeshadows for $3. I don't know how they're doing it. I mean, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, do this eye, then I'm gonna come back on camera, we can start our face. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the entire eye makeup and I'm actually really pleased with how this looks. I feel like once I saw it all come together on both sides, I'm like, Let's get started on the face. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and take is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. You guys know this has been my holy grail since the new year started. Um, this one is so good. If you are looking for a really good affordable primer and you haven't heard of this, you need to check out 
this primer ASAP. I will link my review so that you guys can learn more about it if you don't know anything about it. I quickly want to ask you guys while this dries, how are you guys doing? Let me know down below. I want to know how you guys are doing because I know it's been very rough lately, but you guys know I always got you here on my channel just to kind of get your mind off of things, um, play with some fun makeup, affordable makeup. So let me know how you're doing. And also just self quarantine ing and I've been just watching a bunch of YouTube videos and living my best homebody life. I do have to say I am a big homebody, but I feel like the fact that, you know, I'm a homebody at heart, but like nobody's ever told me like you cannot leave the house. So it's different when like you're kind of forced to. And I feel like when you're being told not to do something is when you like really wish you could like be going out and doing stuff. So, um, I'm going to be applying the foundation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I, was, I think I was just saying that once this is all better and we're able to like carry on with our lives i feel like we're never gonna take anything for granted for a very long time um because i mean life is crazy okay so this is in the shade almond 340 so i'm hoping this will work for my skin type why does it look like that there we go It has a little bit of a scent. We're gonna be taking my e.l.f. sponge that you guys know I love and adore to apply foundation. Um, I don't think I've tried this foundation. I can't even remember, guys, because I try so many foundations that I just forget what I've tried sometimes and what I haven't tried. Um, I think I was gonna try it, or maybe I did try it, but the shade was really off, so I wasn't able to really, like, test it to its full potential because I was so worried about how orange I looked. I think that's what it was. But today we're about to like really see. This is supposed to be a flawless satin finish. I don't know why it came out kind of watery when I first pumped it out because I literally picked this up from Target like a few, probably like a week and a half ago. Yeah, probably like almost two weeks ago. So it shouldn't come out that way. Coverage is pretty good. I have to say it's like a buildable coverage so i think that's good enough it looks very nice it does have a very pretty finish i wouldn't sew it's necessarily like matte or dewy i feel like it's like the perfect in between consistency it's definitely a buildable consistency because i feel like in some areas i could use a little bit more product but i'm not going to just because i'm going to go in with concealer right now you guys know elf has some great concealers so i'm just gonna wait for a minute but looks pretty good and i feel like this color what is it almond is a really nice shade it's supposed to be for neutral undertones which i think i definitely am so now we're gonna go in and we're gonna be using this new camo concealer sponge that i just found um this is apparently supposed to be amazing with the concealer it's a sponge that complements the camo concealer it's specially designed to perform best with concealer the dual pointed ends easily fit into the hard to reach areas allowing for a flawless application so i'm gonna go ahead and take this elf camo um concealer i went ahead and wet it you guys can see it definitely got much bigger let's compare it again yeah just like kind of like more narrow so i'm gonna be taking the elf hydrating camo concealer this is also a satin finish and this one is in medium sand and i'm just going to be applying this right here i'm using the sponge you guys know that lately i've been using the tati blendiful for my concealer because that's what i really trust and this is why let me show you guys do you guys see how it's like lifting right there and separating I just feel like ever since I started using the Blendiful and it's not wet whatsoever, I've noticed that it doesn't make product separate. It doesn't take too much of the product off. It's just so much better. I'm trying to apply a little bit more just to kind of conceal the area where it was separating. But I don't know, guys. I mean, the sponge feels really nice. It's very soft, but I feel like the Tati Blendiful just changed my life. Okay. So we're gonna have to leave that be. Now we're gonna be taking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder because this is the only powder we have at the moment for e.l.f. 
And I'm gonna be cheating for a second. I'm gonna be taking my Real Technique sponge because this is the only sponge I have for this. Okay, so we have that on the face. What I'm gonna do, ju just to kind of see, put to the test, I'm gonna be using my Tati Blendiful on this side. I know this is an e.l.f. only video, but I just kind of want to show you guys like the difference that I'm talking about. So do you guys see like on this side, it didn't separate whatsoever. And you guys know that I love and lived for a damp sponge for my under eye. Like that I was like this Tati Blendiful needs to really impress me because this is the only way that I apply my powder for my under eyes. And now I'm like, huh. Oh. If you're not the Tati Beauty Blendiful, I just don't know. And now we're gonna be taking our cream contour kit by e.l.f. I'm gonna be taking mm, this shade right here. Going to town, bronzing up. I feel like a cream bronzer, you always have to be very careful because cream bronzers, I've noticed, tend to be very, very pigmented. So if you go with too much cream contour, or cream bronzer, whatever you may be doing, it can definitely make your skin just look really like contoured or really bronzed up. I think that's about all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go in and contour my nose just a little bit with the same color, my same contour brush. And typically I use a contour stick like I mentioned, but today I'm gonna use my brush to blend it out from the pan. Have that on. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with blush. So where is it? Here it is. So I'm gonna be using this monochromatic multi-stick and sparkling rose. You can use this for many different things. Um, you can use this on your eyes, lips, and cheeks for a soft, glowy, monochromatic look. So I'm gonna be using this on my cheeks. You guys know that I've been really into like gel um, blushes so I kind of want to see how this does so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna apply some on the back of my hand like so and then I'm gonna be taking my blush brush and just kind of applying that product right here and then I did my highlighter I know that there's some good highlighters from elf um, I just didn't like see anything that I was obsessed with. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do today, which I may regret in a few seconds, but I'm gonna be mixing these two. This one kind of reminds me of Cookie by Benefit, but like, that's a glow, it's pretty. Don't use too much if you do use these as highlighters, be very light, cause they are so pigmented. I just kind of wanted to multi-use it because I feel like you can. And now we can move on to the final step, which is lip. So I purchased two lip products. Um, this is a new one. It's called their Sheer Slick. Um, this is supposed to be a silky slick lip formula that was inspired for summer days and it's supposed to give you like a sheer wash of color, which I probably won't use, but I wanted to purchase it because it's a newer product. So yeah, this looks beautiful for like every day. Oh, that's so pretty. And I feel like it'll clash right now, but it's really pretty, very creamy. Seems very moisturizing. So I'm going to be taking this one and this one is in a seriously satin shade and it's in nectar this looks like it'll look nice with this because it's kind of like a peachy formula and i feel like with these looks you can really do like a peachy yummy goodness yeah so that's what we're gonna do and this is the other one Okay, so I don't have a lip liner. I couldn't find any at my local Target when I was looking because I was like, I need a lip liner because you guys know that I have a huge lip liner addict recently. But let me just go ahead and apply this. I feel like with the right lip liner, this is like going to be my staple. Mmm. This is really creamy. The formula feels absolutely amazing and this shade is stunning. Nectar really good shade i feel like it's such a pretty spring nude so the last thing we're gonna go ahead and do now is take our elf makeup mist and we're just gonna spray our face so that we can get this makeup to stay on all day long Whew. okay so i was going to just change and look a little bit more presentable but i was like you know what i'm not going anywhere so why change you know as long as i'm clean you know that's all that matters but like this shirt's good, it's good. So what I did to go ahead and do is I redid my hair, just 
put a little bit more snatched and I put on some different earrings, put on a little ring and called it a day. This is me getting a little bit more dolled up for you guys. So I really hope you guys are watching this video. I wanted to do a one brand tutorial using all e.l.f. products because I'm a huge fan of e.l.f. and I feel like e.l.f. is really killing it right now and they're just doing the damn thing. I mean, all the products look really nice on the skin. I have to say for like what they're worth, really good quality. Out of everything, I was definitely the most impressed with with the little quads. These like little e.l.f. palettes are so good for $3. You cannot beat it, whether you're like just getting into makeup or you are advanced in makeup, you're going to love these little guys. And I feel like if you get more than one, it's even better because then you can kind of like mix and match the colors. Um, but I mean, this is awesome. I'm really impressed with how everything came together and the look that I was able to create. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing how I created this makeup look. And I definitely recommend you guys to go sit down, play with your makeup, have some fun because it definitely can distract you from everything going on in the world right now and i think that we definitely need that we need all the positivity and love and i hope that we can do that for each other um but if you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing these types of videos i have a lot more fun content coming for you guys so stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already because i want you to become a member family here on youtube i've noticed that quite a few people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed and you're watching this video, you need to hit that subscribe button right now because you do not want to miss any of these videos. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get that little ring ring every time I upload. That being said, I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.